Um, this Celestial Odyssey palette is Welcome wow. Fam. It's your girl, Angela Denise. And I am here with you today with some Pat McGrath. I know girl, finally. I have for you today the new Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey Holiday 18 Pan Palette that I just could not wait for whenever I seen the promo pictures. But in addition to the eyeshadow palette, we are going to be doing a full face of Pat McGrath. We're going to be using her foundation, her powders, her liners, and of course her lipstick. I am so excited about today's video. Um, I can't wait to get into the look that I created for you guys. Before we dive into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to one of my subscribers, Miss Blue Living Beauty. Thank you so much for always interacting, commenting, and engaging on my content. It is definitely appreciated. So without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into the makeup. We're going to be doing complexion today before the eyes. So since we're doing a full face of Pat, we're gonna start out with her Skin Fetish Foundation. And I love this foundation for this time of year. It's been a couple of months since I've used this one, so I have shaken it up. The shade that we are wearing today is Medium Deep 22. Um, because I feel like I need the coverage, I'm gonna do, well, obviously a generous application. And my brush is the Ulta Beauty Buffing Foundation Brush. I have mentioned this to you guys a couple of times and I really, really do love this brush. So when I originally tried this foundation, I think it was about two years ago, I really wasn't as fond of it, but it wasn't because the formulation. This is a medium coverage at best, um, but it was mostly because of the price point. She is pricey at $68, um, but I really love the fact that if you need more coverage, you can conceal, like I have this little area here, but I'm not too worried about it because it's just not that kind of day. Like I don't need full coverage. Um, that's pretty much like the only spot that I can really, really see. So the formulation is beautiful. And actually these days I'm really enjoying a medium coverage over over full coverage so okay so Pat does not have any contour or bronzing products yet so what I'm gonna do is take my Danessa Myricks contour balm and this is something that I have been using here on the channel and I have really been enjoying it um, just for the sake of not dirtying up so many brushes I'm gonna go ahead and take that same foundation brush that I was using because all I want to do is just add um, a little bit of a sculpt to the cheek area for me. And maybe along the jawline to kind of hide some of my chub. Next, let's go ahead and apply concealer. Today we're going to be using the shade M20. This is the shade that I typically use. From Pat McGrath, this is the shade that it doesn't do too much. It just does just enough on my complexion. And if I would were to go brighter, I would probably, I would probably try the shade M18 if I wanted a more brightening um, effect under the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Real Techniques. This is a setting brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. So 
So a few things that I love about this concealer is that a little bit does go a long way. And I love that you don't, it doesn't dry down super fast. So you don't have to um, like rush to blend. So you can take your time, not too much time, but you can take your time and really work with the product. Then I'm going to go in with a sponge and just blend everything out. Sponges are always damp, by the way. So sometimes I do like that bright under eye look, but you know, not for all occasions. So today I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with that same setting brush that I was using earlier. Because this brush is smaller, it's going to really help me like pack on the powder because you know, that's, it's going to really prevent the concealer from moving. Okay, so that's that for now. Um, while I have it on my mind, I'm going to go ahead and uh, prep my lids for concealer. This is my P. Louise. Oh, I think that's going to be too much. So this is my P. Louise uh, base. Blending it out with a Morphe M173 brush. All right, um, because I over applied the P. Louise base, um, I need another brush that's gonna help me really get in here and blend this out because this stuff does dry down. I'm gonna go back into that setting brush. I love this brush because I feel like it's a great multitasker, as you can see. I'm going to go into, I don't, I don't think I told you guys what powder I was using under my eye, but this is the one size powder. I just want to take a little bit of that and go right up under the brow. I really should be using a smaller brush. Um, and this is just to set the top portion of my eye. I do not want to set the lid because I want that base to stay tacky because of the types of eyeshadows that we're gonna be using today. Shimmering metallics, honey. Yes. Okay, what you have been waiting for, I'm sure. This is the Celestial Odyssey Holiday Palette from Pat McGrath. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to get this review up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the deepest shade that I'm gonna be applying today. Um, and I'm going to be applying that with a crease pro from Sonia G and I'm going to be using this darkest brown uh, shade out of the palette here and I believe this shade is called um, Nocturne so let's go ahead and just pick up some of that um, based on what I had experienced last year these eyeshadows are of the same quality as in her Big Mothership palettes, and these colors can be very, very pigmented. So you see what I'm saying? You see? Like, you have to be careful. Um, I am using the P. Louise eyeshadow base, so that does make a difference in the pigmentation. It does make eyeshadows apply just a little, like slightly more pigmented than without it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that going in the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a bit of Sun Rose Amber 
and it's like that medium tone brown. I think that's what the name of it is. Let's see. Yeah, Sun Rose Amber. I love this shade too, by the way. And this is a Morphe M441. And I don't want too much of this color. I'm basically using this color to soften the edges of the previous shade that we applied and to add some warmth to the crease. Nothing too crazy. Okay, um, I'm just gonna wing it here, you guys. So please be patient with me. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Bronze Eclipse. And it is very, very, very pigmented. And what I wanna do is I wanna follow what I did on the eye with that deepest brown shade, following my crease, but not, not applying it all the way on the lid. You guys see what I'm doing here. More so applying it in the crease, overlaying it on the outer portion of the lid, using a pressing motion because I don't want it to move around too much. I love this shade, it's beautiful. So then I'm gonna take the shade Corrupt Copper. I mean, this color just screams Thanksgiving and Halloween, right? Like Corrupt Copper. And I believe that this is in, was it the Metamorphosis? It was like one of the first sets of holiday palettes that came out about two or three years ago. It was like, in that palette, Metamorphosis, I don't know. I think I have it. I just don't really use it. So what I'm doing is packing this color on the lid like so. I wanna overlap that brown, bronzy color. You know, I love my bronzy browns. Overlapping that, bringing it up to meet that color that I applied also in the crease. So let's go ahead and build up this color. This is a Sonya G Builder Pro. Two brushes that I need backups of from Sonya G definitely would have to be this Worker Pro and Builder Pro. These are absolutely amazing brushes like Amazing brushes. The quality is impeccable. All right, so Corrupt Copper is absolutely beautiful. Taking that brush that we applied, what is this called? Bronze Eclipse. I want to take that, I want to pick up a little bit more of Bronze Eclipse, and I just want to blend here, the outer corner of the eye. Yeah, blend those two together. All right, okay. I'm liking this so far. This is a very, very, very small brush from the brand Crown. And this is called a small chisel fluff. This is called Gold Galaxy. Beautiful shade. Beautiful. 
blending that color gold galaxy into corrupt copper. Wow. I love to use a patting motion, pat that color. Okay, so then I'm just going to wipe that brush off, but before I proceed to the next shade, I'm gonna take that brush, the Builder Pro that I applied Corrupt Copper, and then I'm just gonna blend. You always wanna go in between your shadows, like the shades that you apply and blend. And I'm honestly just using like a smudging type of padding motion to smudge out any lines of demarcation. Love. Love. Okay, taking that small chisel brush and then I'm gonna go into this shade here. I think this is called Solar Flare. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's do Solar Flare. And this is gonna be my inner tear duct color here. And I like it because it doesn't have too much sparkle in it. it well, it's more like a satin, but very pigmented because I, I want it to just, you know, be an inner corner color that will make my eyes look very awakened, but not sparkly. And it's like a subdued nude kind of color. So I like that. Okay. You see how we, we blend the edges by patting and pressing. Okay, so what I wanna do is go back to that Morphe M441 brush that we applied that mid-tone brown shade with. And all I wanna do is lightly blend. I don't wanna disturb the eye. Okay, now we have to work on the bottom half of the eye. And before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off any excess. Dust off any excess. And then I'm going to apply with a wedge sponge, my um, one size powder. Okay, so some of this powder will absorb into the skin, but then uh, most of it will be dusted off. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with a pencil under the eyes, and this is the Pat McGrath Primer Precision Ultra Gel Liner in the shade, shade. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna try to use just one pencil brush for all of this. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sonia G Pencil Pro. I'm gonna pick up that color, the dark brown color. I can't keep up with all the names. Um, it's the color Nocturne. And I just want to use that to deepen up the outer uh, portion of the eye. Just the outer third of the eye. I just wanna keep it there. Then, I wanna pick up the shade Sun Rose Amber, that mid-tone brown shade. I love this shade, by the way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some Corrupt Copper. Go back into this color here with a small chisel. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back into that pencil brush and I'm just gonna smudge the whole under eye. Even though it has corrupt copper, I just need to make sure that things look uniform. Okay, then I'm gonna go back into that pencil 
Oh no, this is not a pink. This is a crease pro. And I applied Nocturne to the outer corner of my eye. It was the very first shade. And I'm just going to go and just reinforce, reinforce the outer corner of the eye and blend the bottom half, the outer edge. Make sure we're looking cohesive here. Okay. The eyes are complete. What we're going to do is go ahead and apply some lashes and mascara and I'll be right back and we'll finish the face together. Okay, let's go ahead and get this face finished. So we really do not have um, any powders on the face other than like under the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Pat McGrath loose powder and this is the shade medium three. And this is what medium three looks like. I'm just going to take a Chanel powder puff and pick up some of the product. I don't really like the packaging and I'm not a huge, huge fan of, of this particular powder. Um, to be honest with you, I do like the color. The color does work for me. It's just that I don't like the packaging and the formulation is just okay. Okay, for my blush today, we're going to be doing the Pat McGrath Divine Blush. And today's shade, we're going to be using Paradise Venus. And I feel like this is a really good all year round color. Now, this color isn't currently available in the standalone um packaging but it is in one of the holiday collection uh blush palettes that she came out with blush highlighter duo palette so i'm just going to pick up a little bit of that blush i just i love this color i don't want too too much of it that's actually more than enough these blushes are actually very very pigmented that is enough blush then i want to use a bronzer and today's bronzer because we don't have one from pat mcgrath is going to come from dior and this is the first time that i'm actually trying out this bronzer this is the sh uh, shade 07 golden bronze and i really hate that this color isn't available at sephora i'm going to apply this bronzer with my reference number 22 uh, bronzer brush. This is a beautiful brush. I have been using this brush since last year and I literally cannot um, get enough. I actually also use it um, for applying powder as well. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful brush. Well made. Worth every coin. I'll be glad when some of Natasha's brushes come back in stock because I want that master face brush because I really need me a good, I got makeup on my shirt. I need me a good um, buffing brush because this one here that I have, my Chukahoto, um, because of the type of cleanser that I use, the glue has come undone. So I can fix it, but I just still need another good buffing brush because that's basically the only brush that I use to um, buff with and that's not good considering how often I've been applying makeup these days um, uh, you know I've been trying to do more videos for you guys so sometimes I don't have time to clean my brushes and I am definitely the type that does not let dirty brushes especially face brushes touch my face so let me go ahead and pick up some of the Pat McGrath blurring powder. Um, this is the shade medium. I really don't like this color. I probably should get the yellow color, but honestly, I really don't even like this powder. So uh, for whatever reason, Pat's powders don't really do it for me. Um, I'm going to be buffing that in with a designer pro. And I want this powder to add brightness to the face. And I feel like it, it does that. I just, I don't know. 
as a standalone setting powder under the eyes. I don't really care. I don't know. I actually find that it emphasizes texture, to be honest. Or maybe I'm just using too much. Who knows? It does give me a little bit of brightening action, but this is definitely not a powder that I reach for very often. Um, this is the Pat McGrath highlighter that came out with the blush collection. This is the Divine Glow Highlighter in Golden Nectar, and it is gorgeous. I really do like the formulation of this product. Wow. I'm gonna brush off some. It's beautiful. See how beautiful that is? I mean, you can go as light or dark as you want. Um, I just uh, applied a very little bit. So the final step in today's routine is to go ahead and apply lips. So I don't have a Pat McGrath lip liner um, in my collection that's gonna go with the McMinimi. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I can get it to come out super dark, deep red color. So we're gonna be wearing that today. And I pulled out my lip pencil from MAC and this lip pencil is burgundy. This is a burgundy lip pencil. And honestly, you guys, Pat McGrath has some of the best MAC lipsticks on the market, period. Now, McMinimi. All right, Glam Fam, this is the finished look. I hope that you love the look as much as I do. Um, this Celestial Odyssey palette is, wow. I asked for this. Like, if you go back and watch my video that I did last year, I was like, I hope that she comes out with an 18 pan palette, and she did. So thank you, Pat for obliging my request. Um, I can't wait to come back and do some more looks for you guys using this palette. Um, I think that this is like a perfect, like a Thanksgiving pumpkin patch type of vibe. Let me know what you think of all of the other Pat McGrath products that I used in today's video. Do you have them in your collection? Do you want them in your collection? Also leave a comment letting me know what types of videos you wanna see me do next. I always love your feedback on these types of videos and I will see you all in the next one.